back to my channel today we're going to do a look this one here with the jeffree star shane dawson um, mini controversy palette um i really don't have to say much about it i hope you've seen the series it's like we was there with them so i'm just here to show you what my first impressions are and how i got this look if you're new to my channel be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell don't play with me and there's no excuse for not subscribing if you have a google account you have a youtube account you can go ahead and subscribe. Keep on watching. Alright, you guys know the drill already. We're going right into it. Eyelids already primed. I'm ready to get started. Now, this palette it needs absolutely no introduction. It is the mini controversy palette by Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson. Um, I ordered this on launch date. Launch date was the first and I already ranted about that in one of my other videos just trying to order this damn palette and it was stressful. I actually only got the mini. I didn't get the actual conspiracy palette. Those are sold out everywhere, every site. Remember this fucking launch broke the internet. It literally broke Shopify. So we're not going back into that. This is my first time ordering anything from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So I'm excited. I do have two other palettes that I've ordered, the Blue Blood and Blood Sugar. So those two tutorials will be coming out shortly. Um, the packaging is really cute. It comes with the Jeffree Star pink box with the sticker. And every little sticker on the palette has exactly what it is. So this says the mini controversy. The other two say Blood Sugar and um, Blue Blood. So it's literally first impression. Just going to open it. And I know you guys have probably seen many of these, but I don't care. Because to be honest, I haven't seen too many on any people of color, like really not too many the darker skin, Jesus. Even with bubble wrap is pretty that's cute, but um, me and bubble wrap don't get along, they always trying to play me. Just throw that. Ooh, it feels nice. Throw that too. So this is the box, you guys probably already seen it. We're not gonna go too much into the packaging, it's Jeffree Star, it's always great. I'm ready to just get into this. Here's the palette, it's raised, it's nice. I don't care. It does have a mirror. Actually for like a little cardboard unicorn, it actually has some weight to it, so it's really nice. I believe it's magnetic, that's cute. These are the colors. It's not, let's do this. Here we are. So these are the colors. We have Flat Earth, which is like a powder blue. Then there's Cry On My Couch, I do that all the time. Um, my Boyfriend's Purse, which is like this champagne kind of metallic. Um, we have Controversy, which is this cool purple. Um, Diet Root Bear. My Apology with one. Exposed, which is this lavender color. I really like this color when you get into it. Then there's Cancelled, which is this blue shade. And the simulation, which is this metallic blue. I'm, probably, I'm gonna try to use as many colors as I can. There's already some powder on the palette, but it doesn't matter. All right, let's get started. I think really I'm just gonna use, we're just getting into that exposed color right here. This lavender, lilac, whatever you wanna call it, it's purple. I'm gonna take my just a fluffy blending brush. Again, this is my 225 Lux Eye Blender by Zoeva. I'm just gonna dip right up. Oh. I mean, it's a little fallout in the pan. It's not really going anywhere, so that's cool. And it's like, whew, it's really pigmented. You can see that, so hopefully it'll show. I'm just gonna try and use this mirror. Hopefully, it looks like a good quality mirror. So we're just gonna get into it. I'm gonna pop that right in my crease. I can see it already, it's very faint. It's like kind of blending into my setting powder. Um, but of course, if you're fair skin, you probably see it right away. Yeah, this one has fallout. I don't really care about the fallout. There's no fallout on my face. It's really just fallout in the pan. Hope you can see that. If that bothers you, um, get over it. Um, I don't know what to tell you. If you don't like it, then don't purchase it. Um, there we go. There's that color. Um, I believe this was twenty eight dollars. I think these are these are back up. I just saw yesterday on Beautylish, so um, you may be able to grab that actually. Just the mini, just the mini controversy. I know on launch date they didn't go out initially by themselves, 
So that may be the reason why. But again, that launch date was crazy. The launch date was November 1st. Really inconsiderate for those working. Um, rent is due, mortgage is due, whatever. But I do. I didn't get this till Monday the 25th. So it did take a really long time because there were so many orders. But they did send a follow-up email about 10 days after um, regarding the processing. So you were aware of it. It's not like you were just blindsided and just like taking forever to get your package. They did keep you updated. Um, Jeffree Star's Cosmetics was very transparent about it. They did post, um, talk about it. I know we talked about it in the story on Instagram or and talked about it on Twitter. I don't follow, so I don't know. All right, so after blending out that exposed shade here, this lilac, whatever you want to call it, I don't care. Um, there is some fall in the pan. It is a little powdery, I will admit, but the pigment's there and they blend it out nicely. I think now I'm just gonna go in with, what the hell is this? It's called the Lux Petite Crease. It's a 231 um, crease brush, but I think I'm just gonna get in right to that controversy shade. Purple here, just gonna tap into it. Um, this fall out again, it's not too crazy, but you can see a lot picks up on the brush. I'm just gonna get it in there. Have a full excess. I'm just gonna put this right um, underneath. Not really trying to blend it out too much. Oh wow, it's there. Wow. I don't think I have a purple like this either. So that's good. And I did see a lot of reviews on the. Mm -hmm. Did see a lot of reviews on the conspiracy palette where you know that top row was looking a little ashy for you know our melanin queens like what's going on but there's a lot of nude shades and neutral shades so i don't know i much i really did just gravitate to this palette more for the obviously for the blues because i'm obsessed and have a problem but i don't know once they were doing the lineup when if you if you watch the series once they started doing the lineup started taking out the blues and moving stuff around i drifted further and further away from that um, the main palette but I do still want to get it when it restocks sometime next year maybe like March whatever I'll try to get it then um, so far this is blending out nicely I'm just going to try to build up that color so that I can really see it the lilac is still there but I want this purple to really pop um, this controversy color now that that controversy is is on it did take a few tries um, just like going back and forth um, in the pen and just try to get that purple really on there as you can see there is some fallout down here right here so i'm just gonna go ahead and use this makeup revolution brush it has 300 i don't know when this became my fallout brush but it has so i always use this brush to just dust away any fallout again i took the controversy shade and just put it um, in my crease and i did it on just took it on the outer corner a little bit. I'm gonna go back in with that. Um, the same fluffy brush that I used for that exposed shade. Just go back in and blend out. Um, just to make sure it's there, just to blend out that controversy shade so it's not too harsh. Can you see that? I really wish you could see that. These are honestly, these shadows are they're powdery. Um, these matte shades at least. I haven't dipped into any of the shimmers, and I just noticed the shimmers are all on one side. That's kind of cute. I appreciate that, but they are powdery. If you can see in the pan, just dip it into them. Like, I'm gonna knock it off. Even when I'm still like applying the shadows, they are powdery. So just keep that in mind. Um, I always hear such good things about the quality of Jeffree Star, of Jeffree Star cosmetic products and his shadows. And I'm not saying that they're not good quality. So they blend out really nicely and they do work well together. I'm um, just from using these two shades. I'm just gonna go back in. I feel like it took away some of that purple. Just dip back in there with my crease brush. And just go back over that. But yeah, I feel like they are very powdery. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's how I do my base. Or maybe it's meant to go with like a, just a wet base that's not been set. I do set my base with a translucent powder and I just go use um, concealer and my translucent powder. Maybe that's why, and you just kind of need to go in and have that color really stick there, but they are powdery. So, I don't know, keep that in mind. I think 
think next I want to, I don't know what I want to do. I'm just weighing it. I really want to get into this cancel shade and the simulation. So I think, I think I'm just going to go ahead and cut the crease first and then decide which one to use next. So be right back. The crease is cut. I'm going to go into that uh, shade, this blue shimmer shade. It's called, sorry if the damn mirror, whatever. I'm going to this blue shade, it's called the Simulation. I'm just going to take a flat brush. I always use a flat brush for any shimmers, immediate fallout, and kick up in the pan. Um, whatever. We're here. I'm just going to put this on the inner corner. Mm. It applies very nicely with the brush. I'm actually surprised, but do you see the immediate fallout here? Okay, so um, don't do your base first. Or if you do, just lay down some some powder. I'm going to try to build this up. I think I'm going to take it maybe on half or most of the lid and just keep working that in just to build it up to get enough of that color. But yeah, that fallout is real as soon as I put it down. And I don't knock off any excess fallout when I brush and use the shimmer because I want all of it to be placed down. So just keep that in mind and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to keep packing that in. So just so you guys have an, like a real idea of what this fallout game is like, boy, I didn't wipe it off yet, but can you see that? And that's just the shimmer. So if that's an indication of what these shimmers will look like, definitely, definitely do your eyes first. So I'm just going to wipe that away and I'm going to go back in, look at that, even in like my waterline. Lightly, I don't want to rub it in. I'm probably gonna have to go in and clean this up after anyway. Um, definitely because it's just, I look stupid. All right, whatever. I'm gonna go back in with that controversy shade back on my crease brush just because it kind of like went away. This blue like overtook it, but I really want it to be seen. So just lightly going over that outer corner that lilac shade is completely gone but it was a decent transition I won't even lie um, it's fine but now it really just looks like I went in with two colors not three so I'm not sure how I'm gonna incorporate that in the final look but I'm just gonna try to use as many colors as I can I have no idea what I'm really doing but definitely was drawn to the shade the controversy shade and the simulation shade, but so far, and look, can you even see that? It's so messy in the pan. So keep that in mind, it's not terrible. It's black, so it doesn't look as bad. If it was a white um, unicorn, it would definitely look a hot fucking mess. So I'm just gonna go ahead, just try to get that purple back, give it some more life, and then blend it back out with my fluffy brush so it's not too harsh. But we're clean, um, it's blended. I'm, whew, I want something for the outer corner, just a little bit more. I would really have loved if there was like a darker shade, just a deeper one. This does have a lot of light shades, so this flat earth shade and this fucking... I had the controversy in there. So this flat earth shade, cry on my couch, and this exposed. They're very, very light shades, so I could see why they'd be very ashy on deeper skin tones. So I just really wish there was a deeper shade. I'm gonna see if I can mix um, canceled and controversy to try to get like a deeper purple. Hopefully I don't mess up canceled. I'm just gonna dip into that one first. Oh my god, can you see that? Okay, no. And this is a very fluffy brush. This is um, a soft definer brush. I like to use this for my outer corner, but I just tapped in. It's not even completely coating my brush. And look at that. Look at that fall out. That's crazy. Like these, uh, I don't know. I don't know anything about his other shades, but I always hear such good things. And they're right now extremely powdery. Look at, look at that. Look at the pan. Like that's crazy. I don't even know shit. And I want to mix them. Let me just go into that controversy shade. Um, let's do what I wanted for your blue and purple, maybe dark purple. Let's just be case oh my god this is nuts let's see if it doesn't then okay oh yeah okay 
It's doing a little something. Can you see that? It gave like a real true purple. Kind of like that. Let's see, I don't want it all over. I don't want it to blend too much into that. The simulation shade, so. Oh my gosh. This is, this is a crazy fallout, oh my god. I'm just trying to be careful not to get too much of that controversy shade in that cancel shade. It is a light blue, so I don't wanna ruin that. It's actually, this is crazy. On one side, it's like making the blue the simulation that it is, and this side, it like is that purple. So I don't know. We're gonna try to just try to even that out, and then probably go back in with my Jesus and with um, controversy just to make sure it's still there. So just gonna we're gonna see. Back. It did take a lot of work just to blend those two shades together just to make something a little deeper. Um, not happy. <laughs> it did. It was. Pissing me off, stressing me out, and it's still, um, it's still a little patchy. I don't know what was going on for one side. This side here, very patchy. I don't know what was going on. I even took off some of it and just did some more concealer and put it back in. This is it. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not pleased. Um, so yeah, it's just making me lean more and more towards like the color story for this. And this may be, and I do still have some, it's a mess, I made a mess, whatever. And I had to go back over everything just to make it look decent. So um, just more and more leaning towards this palette as in just an accent palette. You can't, I don't believe, um, there's not a deep enough shade, like even if they're doing like a dark brown or even a black, um, it would have been like, I oh, know you can create a few looks just from this palette alone, but just with this palette alone, I feel like you can only make like really colorful looks and you'll still need to go in with another palette for those shades that you need. Um, so definitely more of just an accent palette, not like a palette you can travel with or use every day. So I'm um, not mad at it, but it's just, it really pissed me off. I'm just trying to use this palette today and they're not making it easy for your girl. They're not. Um, yeah, so it's a mess. It is. I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna do my base and go ahead and come back and just do the waterline. I'm thinking I'm gonna use this my boyfriend's purse shade here. This one here, just to go in with like the inner corner um, and maybe try to use flat earth on my brow bone. I'm not sure yet. I'm a little over it, and I've only used these four shades here, so we'll see. The blue is very pretty. Um, it was even the like, cancel shade. I haven't used it by itself, but just when I put it on, like, and you can still see it above that purple, and it didn't blend out. So it did take me a few tries to mix those colors together. Um, definitely not like that teal shade from that Christian Dominique slash Thunder palette that pissed me all the way off. Blended out to nothing. So that shade, I do believe it'll show if you use something else. Like I'm definitely gonna try to use it again, but I also ordered the blue blood palette, so who knows. Let's just try to clean this up and make something of this. I'll be right back. Alright, so cleaned it up as best I could. And didn't expect it to be so dramatic and so blown out, but I'm dramatic, so it's fine. Sorry if you're following along, but girl, please. Just put down um, some extra banana powder because this fallout has been out of control. Just gonna go in. Oh shit. You know what? I'm gonna put on some black eyeliner first. Here. Throw on the black eyeliner, just use um, some, some, uh, just a Sephora brand, uh, yeah, Sephora brand black eyeliner. It's really creamy, very similar to the Aqua XL by Make It Forever. Um, just if you don't want to spend the extra coin, um, that one's a good a dupe. So for the waterline, I'm just going to take my smudger brush. I don't even know the numbers anymore, 226. I'm a liar. Yeah, it's a 226 smudger brush. I think for the inner corner towards the middle, I'm just going to go in with that shade Cancelled. Just gonna coat my brush. So I really wanted to put that black eyeliner down first because I did have a lot of fallout still from that, from the simulation shade in um, my waterline. So I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> Jesus. Now this is why I put on the excess powder because this is crazy. All right. So I'm just gonna kind of stamp it in and then drag it out. So she's there. You can see her. Not as bright, um, 
but I'm just gonna have it coat it. Just gonna stop towards the middle. Go ahead and do the other side. lighter tan to light to tan you could use the shade as a highlight just a soft highlight if you want to um, but I did go ahead um, also do on some lashes finish off my face um, the lip combo I'm wearing today is the nude moon in dose of colors and I just learned that um, with the NYX suede my lip liner this is in the color Aria so these two really cute together I love them and um, this is a really good liquid lip I don't know how much they cost, but I'm pretty sure you can find this shade with Colourpop if you don't spend extra money. So for this overall palette, ugh, I wanted to love it. I did. And I, and I don't hate it either, but these shades, um, just their color story like on their own, you cannot use this as like a... I really feel like you can't really use this just to use a like one palette look. You're going to... You are going to have to grab other palettes at least one other palette just to get the shades that you're looking for i don't believe you really can make more than one or two complete looks with this that are wearable um this look obviously for me is wearable i can wear this whenever i don't give a shit but you want something more uh, i don't know you're really gonna have to rely heavily on that dye root beer shade honestly to make a look with these two shimmers and then cry on my couch color really make it wearable for everyday use not again now I don't see too many looks you can get out of this for everyday use I truly do believe that this is an accent palette just a palette just to get a few colors that you don't already have to pair it with something else but other than that I don't feel like you can just use this as standalone not a travel palette it's it's good size for travel um, but not if this is all you're gonna be bringing just to pop in your purse to touch up later maybe i don't know um the fallout now i'm not i really don't care too much for the fallout but for 28 dollars there was a lot of fallout a lot of kick up in the pan they did they do perform well um i don't know mixing these two just to try to get that dark shade did not do well for me it did come out a little patchy i'm not saying that this is the the shades itself or the formula it could be my base but for me today right now first impressions it um it wasn't too great for me i didn't really care for it um i do like this look i don't mind it i actually didn't use flat earth um, diet root bear crying my couch or this my apology shade uh, but i did use the rest of them i mean i use a lot about five of the shades so that's the t that's the that and that i do really like the look that i came up with 
again they give me a hard time i do wish there was at least a deeper shade in here like a, a black or a darker brown but i don't mind and lashes really do save everything these again are my favorites angel um, by pretty and make beauty it'll of course be linked down below go ahead and grab you some lashes they're really inexpensive and i love them and i've had these for about almost two months now not gonna lie so and i've had <laughs> quite a bit of uses you'll see the videos where i use them and they're great but for this palette i don't know i've I don't know. of course i'm not upset at the buy it is to support shane dawson and it was a really great series that they had i do really like these colors i'm going to use them with other shadows to see how they perform um because this by itself is i don't know wasn't it for me um i do really love the blue of course that's what i was really drawn to those two blues and these two purple shades together so i did of course want to use them but i'm gonna go ahead um definitely gonna keep working with this palette and try it out see what it looks like. i can come up with with just this but of course i personally feel like it's just an accent palette to go with other palettes that you have if you don't have these colors so that's my first impression on this <laughs> shipping was out of control i understand that this launch was crazy so i'm not really upset um, but once it did ship once i did get the email that it was processed it came right away two days no lie um so i'm really happy with that i do have two other palettes to try out from jeffree star cosmetics the blue blood and the blood sugar palette so i can't wait to do that and show you what i come up with Again, guys don't forget to comment like subscribe and hit that notification bell now Half of you that watch are not subscribed. There's really no excuse. I, there's none. If you have a Google account, you have a YouTube account, you can subscribe. So make sure you do that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Until next time.